welcome back to Red Orchestra 2. Spartanovka is uh, one of those maps that are super hit or super miss. Either the attacking team captures the gully in the church and has a pretty damn good game and probably runs over the defenders, or the other way around, the defenders can keep the gully and the church and the attackers are literally put into their place, into their spawn, where they keep getting spawn raped by machine guns and snipers until the game is over. Now luckily, both teams only have 20 minutes to do so. So the attackers have to kind of rush and get that 20 minute timer to work in their advantage. And the defenders only get to rape you for 20 minutes if they are raping you, if that makes sense. So, eh, kind of unlucky. We'll, uh, we'll try again, especially now we captured the gully. I should probably have spawned in my SL and be a good boy, by the way. Let's spawn in my SL right there. Nope, let's not spawn in my SL. Let's spawn right here in the middle of an open fucking field. Also, MKB42, because it's amazing. Don't know where that guy just went, though. Keep an eye on that. People can also all be all the way back there as well. That's about it. That was a kill. Come on. Who's sniping us? There must be a guy on the on the far right, because obviously I would have seen him by now. I don't like it here anymore. Let's leave this place. Got my first kill. MKB, like I said, it's probably my favorite gun. I really can't wait to get the ZF scope on this. It's probably not the best scope. People always tell me that in the comment section, but at this point, I've played it so much, I just really want it really bad. There we go. That's it. Level 43 for the MKB, which means seven more levels to go. And we'll have it. Woo! Hoo hoo hoo! Oh, 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 someone really doesn't like me there, I guess. All right, well, we're almost in alpha. Uh, by almost, I mean we literally went two feet. I'm about to get destroyed getting out of this. So, uh... I'm dead the second I try and even go up this a little bit. All right, so at least we're, we can see everything now. I tried an AVT fire full auto, that's shit scary. Fuck it. Oof. Okay. It's gone underneath the bridge. We're attacking the church, so let's push! Oof. Okay, there we go. Let's go to... Guardian Angle. Nice. Alright, we're pushing the church. The guy on the right just got shot by a push. We got the church, however. So now, it, it seems like uh, this game might be a one or one for those attackers. That's not going to mean pure rape for the next 16, 17 minutes, and we'll actually be able to hold this area, and we'll be all good. It's gonna be a Russian on that side, though. I saw him. There he is. Fuck! I was just throwing a fucking grenade. That better not land on my body, by the way. Yes. There we go. That was a good frag. I saw him. I knew he was there. Just was a bit unlucky that the second I move behind the wall, he pops up. Also, this is kind of a bad frag. I, I could have done that better, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. So we got a couple of kills. We uh, helped actually clearing B. Not so much A, but we definitely helped clearing B. And now we're going to try and aggressively attack the next objectives. This map, however, isn't that easy. Uh, these, these objectives have, have go all the way down. So if there's Russians all the way at the other end in like G5, 
But we're over here, then we're not going to capture this. But we're doing decent. That was a... I didn't know if that was a Russian or a German. How have I not kept... Oh, how did I not kill that guy? I thought stuff like that was penetrable in this game. Slowly peeking. We're going to cross. Oh, God. Let's stay on full auto and I can just tap fire this, I guess, because I really don't want to be on um, single fire and CQB here. There we go, for that reason. Oh god. Oh no, I made it inside! He must have shot my face as I jumped down. God, that's unlucky. Very bloody battle. It's meant to be bloody. You're meant to die. We're attacking. We're like, this is a, a good map. I like this map, but it's difficult. Now, not if you have an organized team, but obviously. Oh, that's bad. Oh god. Butt clench really hard. Is there a Russian here somewhere? Those are all friendly. I saw him move. He's dead too. It's the guy who killed me in earlier. Look, there was a guy on the other side. For sure. We're doing really good, by the way. This is going to be a really short battle. This guy's bleeding out. Issue is there could be Russians all the way down the line since there is Russians in this cap zone. There we go. I saw him, but there's a friendly right there. Hello, let's, let's wave. Let's make sure he doesn't shoot us randomly. I'm gonna cross right here. Okay. Crossing! Obviously, there's no point in me yelling crossing, but maybe. Oh, you! I was moving behind the building. What's my ping on the server? 156. Eh, with that ping, you're kind of asking for getting shot behind a wall, maybe, but. Oh, well, hey. So far, playing this aggressively, and I don't even often play on maps like this where I play very aggressive. Usually, I play like a kind of a little bit more passive and see what's going on, but. That was a pretty good push. I, I've seen, uh, I'm sorry, I've, I've never done that all right-ish. Like, not so much killing a lot, shit ton of people, but just staying alive and securing area for our team and um, killing a few enemies along the way is definitely something that's very needed on maps like this, where you just need to push for every, like, square meter of ground. Shit ton of Germans charging there, that's awesome. All right, they're charging the final objective, so we might as well then. I shouldn't forget to have a bayonet on this too. I'm inside. Alright, that's a triple kill. Let's look for more. Clear. No more Russians here. It looks like it's clear. I don't know why. Oh, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, please! That was really fucking awesome. Just running into the house with the MKB, doing what you're supposed to be doing, going up front, clearing the entire roof. That could have been a pretty bloody battle. 
granted the enemy wasn't really aggressively defending the upstairs part but that was a really short video so i guess we'll play another round and add that to this video so it's not like a two second video but yeah let's uh let's pause it for a second all right, so uh, we're back on Red October Factory, and uh, I really have to say that, I mean, after doing the Spectate video, I was, like, really excited to play this game. And then I played, like, Bridges earlier uh, this week, and I was like, eh, eh. And then now I've been played Spartanovka, and now this map, I'm really excited. And uh, I really think I should revisit Rising Storm 2. I've already done a spectate video on it, but I'm gonna revisit it as a player because I I think I can I can really like that game or get into it I just need to spend Some time getting better at it and knowing some of the new maps, etc, etc. Now also I do not have access to oh hello I don't have access to my uh, STG sorry wow STG MKB 42 because I uh, Joined the server a second too late because I was running for, for a piss break really quick. So, oh, hello, Mikasi. Hello, 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 hello. So I came back from my piss break and I couldn't select my MKB, which is kind of sad, but, you know, I have to deal with it, I guess. We're capturing this building really quickly. That was just bad. That was horrible. I couldn't seem to get my shots on target for some reason. Probably with my horrible aim. And that one time, the metal bar actually stopped me from moving more left. That guy's dead. Alright, well, I mean, not a bad start. It's That was a massive flank. They're still charging in for some reason. Can you guys stop? We're at seven kills already, guys. Holy balls. That's uh, friendly. I'm reloading. I hate the G41, though, compared to SVT. I've already said this a million times as to why. But the SVT reloads um, has eight magazines, whereas the G41 has eight clips. So the G41 effectively only has four reloads, whereas the, G the SVT has eight. Which means right now I'm already halfway through my ammo, and with the SVT I would only be uh, through one mag. Oh god, I almost ran through that guy's fucking machine gun. So I gotta find an ammo crate. Oh, it's on the other side. Ah, fuck it. We'll be fine. I mean, uh, I still have a lot of ammo left. I think. It just sucks because I've just gone through 20 rounds and that's half your ammo gone, so... Whereas 20 rounds would normally be uh, two eighths of your ammo or a quarter of your ammo for the SVT. So, yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to realize to calculate that, but oh, there's a fucking tank right there! Holy shit! Oh my god! How did I survive? I was like <laughs> right in front of that T 30. Oh, this is okay. I thought this is gonna be bad, but this has actually been cleared. Nope. Okay, okay. I was on a move. Didn't really think about what I was doing. Cost me my life. What is ESL doing? Why? Why must you do that? As an SL myself, I am always really aggressive. But I only SL when I'm playing with friends. And I'm really aggressive, but at least in that situation, I'm not going to just spam my MP40 downrange at guys 80 meters away. Because I know it's going to be a guaranteed death for me. I could, I could have killed that guy. Oh, well. Let's give this guy some ammo. Because he's doing the heroic thing of holding the line with the... Uh, with the MG. Normally, I like to sit in those windows over there. I'm defending. Oh, I almost shot this guy because of the PTSH. That's mine. Nice, that's a good kill. I didn't even see that guy. Oh my god, I almost shot that guy in the back as he turned orangey yes, because of the fire. I 
I have a bait on this thing. Yeah, I actually forgot I have one on here, though. Okay. We captured that? Yes, we did. That's... Man, these people are so quick. My The German team, I was going to say my team. The German team is doing amazing. Like, I'm not way behind. I'm, I think I'm doing all right, but... Those were Russians. There we go. That was a good shot. I don't care what anyone says. That was a good shot in my opinion. I knew it was there. I just had to get the, the targeting correct. Ooh, let's make it across. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Was that the TL? Yes, it was. I saw an officer's head. I was like, what? So that'll probably be a lieutenant, right? Oh, this guy's just gonna charge that, so I guess I won't throw a frag grenade at it then. I really wanted to frag this guy, but the TL just. Oh, the guy in the chat's kind of mad. Yes. That's the TL. I don't know why I can see his gun glitch like that, but whatever. Oh, that's hopefully friendly smoke. It's gonna screw me over though. Oh, I'm dead. There's a guy right there. No, I wanted. Instead of being a bad boy and going all the way around the flank, I figured why not help attack Echo? But what? Oh, never mind. I was totally in the wrong place for that, I think. Yep. I have no clue what's front or what's back, so I'm gonna sit here in the corner and Okay, oh yeah, Echo is the building. I totally forgot I'm stupid. There we go. What's my kills at? 15. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm playing aggressively with the S with the was it, SVT with the Gewehr. So it's all it's all good. It's all good. Oh, this is bad. People are going to be camping this upstairs windows usually. Same for this building, it's a uh, Russian army in. So at least one Russian go upstairs. I'm sitting in a very open window here. There's a snack behind me, so I don't have to do that job. He's I don't want to do his job. Oh, it's the only way I can get out now. I've, have I ever been here before? I guess I have. Weird. This is a cool place, though. There we go. I don't know what that guy was doing, but I'll take a kill. I hear an automatic. I heard an AVT. I'm not sure if that was the guy with the AVT. I heard like boom, 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 boom. It's actually a pretty realistic sound. Boom, 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 boom. That's what it sounds like. It's like someone really quickly doing that with their mouth, and uh, it's really scary because it's it's a full auto SVT40, and it's disgustingly good at CQB because it just fires ten rounds of 792 in like less than a second. 
person laying down right there at the train car. Okay, well, I was kind of stupid. I was just kind of charging there. It was really cool when I threw the grenades and then figured I could charge the position. I even killed that guy who was going towards the towards our my position, but obviously there's only so many people you can kill before uh, your luck runs out. That's not a bad, that's not a good place to be because our left is totally open up there. Well, I got, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, we're trying, we're trying. We're, we're playing the attacking team on the final objective and we're trying. I'm really trying, there's like two Russians right in front of me. You can't see him because he's prone. I need to get the fuck prone if I don't spawn prone. Nope. Oh. oh God. There we go. He's got no window. Oh God. Whew. That was... Yes! When you pull that shit off, that's amazing. I want to get close enough where I can throw a frag inside, but that might be... Oh god. Ah, I was doing something really stupid. The fact that this guy killing me with the SVT was probably a god gift. Okay, well that's awkward. That's no problem, I guess, because he spa I spawned in his tank shell. Um, but the fact I didn't get killed by the tank is running through his like, bio machine gunner. It's it's okay. Charge! Nice! Man! I'm, we're on fire! I mean, I did pretty good! I got 21 kills, look, I'm top 4, I attacked objectives, I didn't sit back jerking my gurk with a sniper, uh, I got like 3rd best in the server on kills, and the other person who was better was the team lead, and... Uh, can I see the other person? I don't know if I can see... Anyway. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love RO2 again, and I really want to keep this game alive. And uh, I guess eventually I'll definitely jump back into some Rising Storm 2 and actually play it and not just spectate the, the battle. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.